Our guest for this video is my longtime best friend. I think we're going to go on 18 years of being best friends, which is so wow. cool. <laughs> Such a blessing. How did you choose your course in college and like the university and what part did worship play in that choice? Okay, so um, for the longest time, I thought I was going into music education, but as I started to um, get involved with ministry um, in the college I'm with now, I decided to go into full-time ministry. So that's when I um, switched from music education to sociology, since sociology is all about people, and in sociology, we're not about like all different types of cultures and how people behave, so be really good for ministry. Um, as for worship, um, it's always been like a big part of like, I guess like me musically, because with um, music education, it was always centered around like classical music and just like performance. And I was like, that's not me. I'm not like a performer or anything. And I loved like doing choir stuff, but I was like, I don't know if I want to like teach this as like a career. So I knew that I was always like worship centered when it came to music. Um, what was your third? What was the other question? <laughs> um, like, how did you choose your course, university, and then how did worship come into that? You basically answered it already. Okay, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> Um, so in your current environment, the people who like helped you choose that shift of course, like were, was there anything specific that you saw different in them, like compared to your previous? My previous like calling? So I obviously like received a direct confirmation from the Lord. Um, when I like decided to like go into ministry I was like okay like I was doubting and I was just like you know praying and asking God like do I really need to go into ministry and then um we had a class one day for um for when I was still like a music ed major so this opera singer came in um and it was just like talking about his life and how he became like an opera singer and then he had said a verse that I was like meditating on for the longest. Um, it was Proverbs 16, 9. <laughs> um, in their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. And I was like, okay, that's, that's definitely you, God. So um, <laughs> I remember driving back to my dorm um, that afternoon and like crying. I was like, this is so weird. Like I spent three years as a music ed major and now I'm going to completely like change it and just kind of like, it was different, but I was like, you know, I'm going to follow you anyways, Lord, because it's worth it. With the current state of the world, like the pandemic and everything, how were you able to stay connected to the community that helps you grow in worship in that area? So, um, but being connected to community, I feel like that's something like you have to be really intentional about, like, um, if you're able, like, to go to church in person, like, obviously be careful because, like, you know, the virus and everything, but, um, it's important. I feel like, um, if you're going out to get groceries, you can prioritize going to church, you know, because, like, our spiritual health comes before, like, our physical health because we live for the Lord, you know, there's, like, no life apart from Him, um, so I feel like, um, you have to be really intentional with, like, seeking out that community that helps you grow because it's biblical like man isn't made to do things alone so um even if you can't be in church in person like you know there's always like um churches streaming um so you could do that and you know because oh, like <laughs> i forgot how to english um <laughs> um there's also like um your online groups too if they're offering that so reaching out to other believers you're close to and having like that accountability and discipleship is really good too that's so true um how do you think it helped you personally like 
being able to still meet with people face to face now i think you guys have a few times so like how has that helped you in this year so um so being back in person um it's helped me a lot um because i get to see how like you know um like the people in my church i get to see how they like um glorify christ through like worship and um the things they say because i don't only have like sundays i have like those wednesdays too that i get to see um other people within my church so i feel like it's really helped um just by seeing like believers live out their lives you know and how they like glorify christ in the little things what changed in your life by putting your ministry into worship specifically like singing and, and praising god in that area like what changed or what grew in your life so when i got um a lot more involved in worship ministry um i just learned how to like abide in the lord more i feel like that's really important um i've kind of noticed like when i'm not abiding in the lord things just kind of like fall out of place and even when like things are crazy like you know we have that like that supernatural peace that the lord gives us when we're abiding in him and we're taking the time to like reestablish our like our mindsets and our heart postures so like um taking that time like each day to be like okay um how do like how do like oh <laughs> my bad um how do i like you know, glorify God every day. Um, and just like examining, like, um, you know, my heart, seeing if it's like aligned with the Lord, you know, I'm going to look through my journal. I like literally wrote about this like the other day. Yeah, so, you know, even when, like, I'm not consistent with, like, um, thinking about it, but, like, you know, knowing that the Lord's going to, like, redirect me towards that mindset of, like, hey, um, is my life, like, my time, my decisions, like, my interactions with other people, are they, like, honoring the Lord? Like, how am I, like, this is something I'm still learning, um, but I've gotten, like, I feel like I've grown through it, um, and that thing is stewarding my time. Like, how am I, like, using my time? Um, and just, like, remembering, like, the message of the gospel every day, you know? And it's not, like, that's not me. That's, like, working in my life. That's, like, the Holy Spirit, like, um, working in me and through me. And, like, that's not, like, me either. Like, it's Christ. <laughs> that's so good. Yeah. Um. <laughs> like, Sorry, that answer was awkward. It's okay. It's okay. Um, no, that was a good reminder on like how we have to abide and spend time and align ourselves with Him. Um, I read it this morning in a devotional during my devotional. I think it's in John Mason's book, Never Give Up. And he said that direction from God is impossible to follow without His involvement. So, like, we always have to involve Him in everything and not just like it was at a the Z conference earlier this month where one of the speakers said that we can't just plan our day and then just put God in it. Like, okay, mm -hmm. I'll let you like put in this slot, like at this time only, like we have to revolve our lives around him. And yeah, what you said was just a reminder on how even in college, even in big decisions, God might interrupt our plans and put us on this other course. But if we involve him in it, then we're not alone. And we can always like find source of strength. So, wow, <laughs> these are just like good reminders, and I hope that those like who would watch and listen would be encouraged. Um, this is like a different. We're like on different fields. Like we're in the same body of Christ, but we're doing different things. And you're into ministry. I've seen you like on the frontier, um, music videos and everything. Like, oh, that's my best friend. <laughs> She's there, and it's just a blessing to be able to just like feel that part of worship because worship isn't just singing right it's like your whole mm -hmm. lifestyle that's aligned with god and just lifting him up first and yet the singing part the the praise and worship part is always just a different atmosphere 
So, like, thank you for being on that and just sharing your life in that area. It's such a blessing. And, yes, things might be kind of awkward at the moment because we're not sure how to start or end this video. But thank you for um, sharing your little college experiences, Ariane. It's such a blessing for me, and I hope it's a blessing to everyone else. So to those listening, thank you for watching. Stay safe, keep praying, and God bless. Thank <laughs> you.